Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to get parent table, reference table, foreign key constraint name, and columns in SQL Server. So the very first question comes in our mind, why we need this information? There could be multiple purpose for gathering this information. One could be they want to verify if you have all the tables and you have set up the primary key and foreign key relationship correctly. And columns involved involved in them are correct second they are gathering this information for the documentation purpose so they can keep the documentation and always know okay which table is the uh, primary key table which table is a foreign key table and which columns are involved in a primary key and foreign key relationship so let's go ahead and take a look open uh, www.techbrothersit.com website and then go to the SQL Server T SQL tutorial and uh, you will be going to the chapter 6 uh, and I have here foreign key constraints uh, and you will be finding uh, the post number 7 how to get parent table reference table foreign key constraint names and columns in SQL Server click there and uh, there is a query right there so we will be using different uh, system views uh, to gather that information. We will be using sys.foreignkeys, sys.foreignkeys columns and sys.columns uh, uh, to gather this uh, information. Uh, I'm going uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy this query and paste in SSMS. Select the database uh, on which uh, you want to run this query. I'm going to run on uh, Tech Brothers IT database. Uh, open new query and paste it. Now we can understand uh, from here I'm uh, starting uh, or creating uh, a CTE common table expression uh, that's gonna uh, save our results at uh, in a memory and uh, then further uh, we can use uh, that uh, CTE and group by and all those kind of things can be done so but this is the main query we're using uh, now outside we have a uh, with the uh, we always start with the uh, this uh, terminator and then say with and the CTE name that can be anything you say as and parenthesis start and then you write your queries uh, join with the views tables whatever and then you close the parenthesis after that you can uh, simply say select uh, asterisk from this uh, CTE and it will return you all the results but in my case I'm doing some further um, I'm driving some uh, or creating some extra columns I will show you why I'm creating those uh, columns rest of that let me run this query and show you the result as of now we don't have any foreign key or primary key relationship and that's why we did not get any information but we will get a table schema name parent table this is the table on which you have a foreign key or you have created the foreign key this is a reference table you can call this one primary key table or reference table and the foreign key constraint name reference uh, column list uh, so this is the these are the list of the columns coming from your primary key uh, uh, table and this is the parent column this is the uh, where you have created the foreign key so let's go ahead and create some uh, primary key and foreign key relationship and then run this query one more time now here i'm creating this dbo customer table and this is our primary key table you can see that i have primary key then i'm creating dbo orders table and uh, i'm creating a foreign key so you can see that it is involved on a customer ID here I have customer ID but in the foreign key table I have customer underscore ID and then I'm saying uh, this is an integer type foreign key references a customer table and this is the column it need to reference okay so once you create this two tables and have primary key and foreign key relationship we can go back to our select query and execute you see that in the CTE I can always select the values from here and run them this is for first cte but if you have further cte's you cannot just take the values from there and run it if you are using above cte in the select part but for the first select you can always run it execute and you see that we get table schema name parent table that's our orders table reference table that's our customer table and this is the foreign key constraint name then we know that okay this is the, the reference the column list so in our case it was a customer id this is coming from customer table and this is our customer id that is coming from dbo customer this is great but now let's go back and create one more relationship with two new tables so we have customer one table here and i am creating a primary key it's called the pk underscore fk name and this is a primary key and this is a 
in uh, on multiple columns so I have F name and SSN so once uh, you create the primary key with the new table DBO customer uh, one then we are creating a DBO customer one uh, sorry DBO orders one table and creating the foreign key so you see that the, the name of the columns are different uh, and uh, there are multiple columns involved uh, in this relationship so you see that I'm creating foreign key on two columns as our primary key also has two columns so in orders table I have a first name instead of having F name that's no problem you can have different column names and create the primary key and foreign key relationship but it's good practice to have the same name but I just want to show you you can have different names and then we are referencing to the customer one table and column F name and SSN you can see right here F name and SSN okay so let's create a DBO, DBO orders one table now go back and run this query so once we run this select query you will see I got three rows why because there are multiple columns involved in a second constraint so this is a foreign key constraint and you can see that it involved first name and uh, it involved SSN that's why we are getting two rows but as for documentation uh, let's say if you need to have all of them in one row so that your manager say no I don't want multiple columns for single constraint I want F name comma SSN or first name comma SSN so that's the reason I have used uh, stuff and for XML path and try to create uh, the single uh, value that will be separated with the comma so this is a, the part you can learn you can use a stuff function and concatenate multiple row values into single value and here I'm doing for two columns actually so let me run this one you see that this is a reference column list so I can concatenate these two F name comma SSN and I, I also need to concatenate parent column names so first name comma SSN in that way I will have only one record for this constraint so that's that's all you need to do you don't need to select from here and all the way down here you can if you want you can always execute if you have multiple queries it is a good idea to select the query you want to run but if this is the only query you have in this window you can simply um, click anywhere and then uh, hit execute button you will see it will return your results we see the table name schema we see the parent table name so that's where we, where we our foreign key is created this is uh, the reference table so where that's where our primary keys are created and uh, this is the constraint name and you can see that instead of getting a two rows we are getting single row but the values are comma separated so we can see that the first name comma SSN and F name SSN so from here you can keep this information for your documentation or this is a good validation process like okay you run this query and return to your team and they will make sure okay all the tables are involved in the foreign key or primary key relationship and the columns are also part of that if any of them is missing they can come back and you can work on creating how to create the foreign key on single column or multiple column or alter table I have all those videos I suggest you go to Tech Brothers IT and watch those videos right here so foreign key constraint how to create a table with foreign key how to create a table with multiple um, columns and foreign key and uh, how to add a foreign key constraint to existing tables so you can watch and copy script and run for your environment i hope you learned some good stuff from here and i will see you guys in the next video